Yep, it's possible. We can change our watercolor painting from daylight to moonlight. Here's how. Truth be told, I was originally going for a moonlight painting, but ended up with a sky that was way too light. And it ended up being more of a sunrise painting. So now, going back to our original intention, let's darken the sky using Payne's Gray and Ultramarine Blue. I'm painting this wet on dry because I don't want to bring in too much water and cause blossoms. Even with a wet on dry technique, it's still possible to diffuse the painting. But it's important not to spend too much time brushing one particular spot. Otherwise, we'll end up lifting the original paint we put down and actually make the sky lighter instead of darker. And I'm using a one and a half inch flat brush because I want to cover as much area as I can. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like. It seems really dark, but you'll see that it's not actually dark enough. The paint always dries lighter than when you first put it on. Now here I want to highlight the moon a little bit by putting the darker color around it. I'm going through now and darkening the reflection because whatever is up above has to be reflected down below. Still not quite dark enough. Let's give it one more wash. I should mention that the Arches Rough Paper is really forgiving in doing things like this. I don't know if we'd be able to get away with going back into the sky like we are with a cold press type paper. I think we finally have the sky dark enough. Now it's just a matter of diffusing it. And the moon doesn't have to be perfect. We can have clouds going slightly into the moon. We could always touch it up a little bit later. And as promised, I'll touch up the moon by using um, clean water and lifting some of the paint off the moon to highlight it. And that's all I got for you. I hope you found this video useful.